Welcome to 16101X, Introduction to Aerodynamics. Hi, I'm Dave Darmafal. I'm a professor in the Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics at MIT. We thought we'd take a second and explain what 16101X is about, and what better way to do that than with a picture of an airplane. I'm going to take a slice through that airplane's wing to produce an airfoil section. And you may have noticed that we have an airfoil section in our logo. The blue lines in this logo are called streamlines, and they are the key to understanding how lift is generated on an aircraft, and what more important thing to know than why does an airplane fly. Also in this image is a shock wave. A shock wave is the region where the flow rapidly decelerates from supersonic to subsonic speeds. It increases the drag significantly and limits the flight speed that can be achieved in an efficient manner of an airplane. Also in this image is the boundary layer. The boundary layer region is where friction forces act. And those friction forces cause a significant amount of the drag on an airplane. Now, another part of the flow is the wingtip vortex over here in this purple line I've drawn in. The wingtip vortex has a lot of energy in it. And we'll tell you in 16101X how the energy in that wake is related to the drag on an airplane. Unfortunately, there's not too much you can do about it. Any airplane generating lift also creates a wake with this energy and therefore drag. Some of the objectives we have for you will be for you to develop an understanding of the fundamental concepts of aerodynamics, things like boundary layers, wakes, shock waves, etc. We also would like you to develop an understanding of the theoretical models used for quantitative aerodynamic analysis. In order to do that, there are some prerequisites though. We think you should know some vector calculus, something about differential equations, and some mechanics like you'd learn in a first physics class. If you don't feel comfortable with all of the things I'm writing on the right hand side, you probably should not take this class yet, but first brush up on your vector calculus, differential equations, and mechanics. Another thing we think would be useful for you to know is introductory gas dynamics, in particular control volumes. If you don't know that yet, we will be providing you with some material though to brush up. If all that sounds great, we'd love to have you join us in 16101X.